baddies welcome back to my channel my name is faith if you are new here be sure to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications stay connected throughout all of my social media platforms and freaking grab some friends and try these meals at home okay post it tag me let me know in the comments down below how y'all was feeling it so we're back in the kitchen this is the third recipe i'm making some lemon butter chicken I'm making, I don't know what to call this. I'll just call it a, at my job, they call it certified. So I'm going to just call it certified. And then I'm going to be making some mashed potatoes. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So surprise, surprise for this video, we are starting with a drink. Okay. We're not doing the drink completely, but for this drink, it has like a frozen cube. And then we have this, um, Moscato. Oh, y'all, this drink is so good. I got this from Trader Joe's. Get with it. And then I'm just using this passion fruit juice. There's literally a little bit left because um, I made this drink probably like four times. And then I'm just using some fruit mixture that I already have in the freezer. It just has like strawberries, cherries, blueberries, pomegranate, raspberry. Just a fruit mixture, a berry mixture. And then I got orange juice just because I don't have a lot of this. So I already have one that I made earlier today. It's um, frozen, but I'm gonna just show y'all how to make one. And clearly you'll have to make this like in, at the top of the day or right before you start the meal just so it can get at least kind of frozen. But you want it frozen like ice cube, so. Yeah, let's get to making the free ice cube. So it's super easy. I'm just taking this passion fruit juice. Literally just putting the passion fruit juice in there. Like I said, I only had a little bit left, which I know that. So I'm gonna just put a sprinkle of orange juice. Just a little bit. Cool. And then I'm gonna just grab a handful of these berries. Then we're just gonna pop this in a freezer and continue on with the cooking. So next up, I already got my potatoes. I mean, got some water um, going on the stove and I'm gonna just dump a bag of red potatoes in the water. And we're just gonna let that stay on the stove until the potatoes come like fork tender. So let's season the chicken. Okay, now we're about to season the chicken, and I'm not doing too many seasonings because the sauce is really gone. The sauce is where the chicken is going to get its flavor. So I'm just using some of this Creole seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, some salt. and olive oil so I'm going to massage this around the chicken um, we're not going to season both sides should I no we're not going to season both sides we just kind of going to you know, use the seasoning from one side to go on the other. What I'm gonna do now is just put the chicken in a container and kind of let it sit, simmer, and marinate for a few because the potato is gonna take a minute and our cube gonna take a minute too. So we just have to chill. So for the potatoes, I pretty much Skinned it. I don't really like too much skin in my potatoes. So I took out a good amount. I'm gonna take a water bottle, some heavy whipping cream, and pour some in there. Not too much. And I'm gonna just give it a good shake. Heavy whipping cream, it thickens up, so. I 
the heavy whipping cream in there. Put some butter and garlic. I'm going to give it a good stir. I'm going to just add some salt and pepper. We keep in the mashed potatoes really mild, like not too much. So good, so creamy. It's your preference if you want to do extra seasoning on it, but I'm pretty much going to use the lemon butter, like the same sauce, and put it on my potatoes. So I'm going to just keep on mild in flavor. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the chicken going. So for the sauce, I'm going to start off with some butter, just to caramelize the skillet. Then I'm going to add some minced garlic. Then I'm going to go in with some heavy whipping cream. And I have a lemon. I'm going to just juice it. I got some fresh parsley. And I'm gonna just add some more like salt and pepper.
and I'm going to put it in the oven just for a little bit. I almost forgot to mention that I'm making broccolini as well. So, there's that. I just had a hot pan with olive oil. I'm going to just add butter, salt, and pepper. And that's it. Keeping it real mild. I feel like vegetables taste the best when it's just like butter, salt, and pepper. We're about to put our drink together while we wait for everything to finish up. So I got my ice cube. I'm gonna use the one that was already in there. Um, the other one is kind of frozen, not quite, but we're gonna take the ice cube, drop it in there. We're gonna take this Moscato. Pour it on top. And this is like a sweet drink, so if you're not like a sweet wine person, you probably will like it, but it's so good. It's sweet. Sweet and fruity. And I just love this with the lemon like flavor of the chicken. So yeah, we're about to go ahead and plate it up and get ready to eat. Let's eat. <laughs> Chicken, got some mashed potato, got some sauce. I don't know what to say. This is like, this is a meal that would be like at a fine dining restaurant. Honestly, chef's kiss. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Comment down below if you tried this meal at home. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.